Have you just got your very first 3D printer or maybe you're thinking about getting a 3D printer for cosplay? Well, in this beginner's guide to 3D printing for cosplay, we're gonna be going over some of the very basic supplies you're going to need for your cosplay 3D printing. So let's get printing. Hi, Tracy here from Astrocyte Cosplay. I've been 3D printing for just over a year now, but prior to that I had been using foam, but I wanted to give 3D printing a try and I've absolutely fallen in love with the hobby. It provides very detailed cosplay pieces. Now this guide is just my method for printing and finishing your cosplay helmets and armor, but there are plenty of methods out there, so you've just got to find what works for you. I just hope some of the tips in this video will be able to help. So let's talk 3D printers. Back in October 2020, I purchased my first 3D printer, which was a Creality Ender 3 V2. I personally wanted to start with something that was a little bit smaller and less expensive, just to see if I could actually get into the hobby. This has been a great little machine. I've been able to print some really cool props, but I've always found it a little bit difficult to print full-size helmets. Now, it is doable. You just need to slice them up, print them, and then put them back, either with PLA welding or super glue, and then fill in some of the seams. So I'm not saying it's not doable, it's just a little bit more work. So if this is where you want to start, I would highly recommend it. I have now also purchased my second machine, which is a Creality CR10S Pro V2, as it has a larger bed size and I'm able to print helmets in one shot. Now, I'm not saying that these are the best printers out there, but you'll see a lot of cosplayers using them as they are reasonably priced and fairly reliable. My Ender 3 has been very reliable since I've started using it. Now, to start 3D printing, you're going to need some filament. Filament is basically a roll of plastic that melts in your hot end and makes the model that you're after. There are many different brands and types of filament being PLA, PLA+, ABS or TBU just to name a few. Now as a beginner, PLA or PLA Plus are definitely the better ones because they're going to be the most beginner friendly. For ABS, you do need an enclosure as it has toxic fumes and TPU, which is a flexible filament, has a whole other challenge. I have mainly used Sunlu PLA and PLA Plus, but I also have some eSun and some 3D PO and they've all worked fairly well. I wouldn't say that there is some best filament out there. You've really just got to test them for your own machine and your own environment because what works for you may not work for somebody else. So to get printing, you're going to need a 3D model or an STL file of whatever it is that you want to print. Now, there are plenty of paid and free files out there. You've just got to search for them. I will put in the description below a link to a video I did on the best sites for free files out there. So make sure you check that out. There are also heaps of paid files out there on Etsy, websites, Patreons. So if there's any of those that you're looking for, hit me up in the comments and I can let you know the best sites that I've found for that sort of thing. Now you will find some of the paid files may be a little bit better quality. Once you have the file, you're going to need a program to slice the file so that your printer is able to read the code. Now I use Ultimaker Cura for this, but there are plenty of other ones out there such as Prusa Slicer or Simplify. 3D. You've just got to find which one works best for you. A lot of the machines actually come with their own version of a slicer, so you can also try that out. Another handy program is Mesh Mixer, which is also free, but it allows you to do various things such as cut up models for smaller 3D printers, add tubes for support into your models, or add pins. Now, there are plenty of different techniques you can use with this the further you get into 3D printing, and I have started a Mesh Mixer playlist, so make sure you check out that if you're after any little tips. Question for cosplayers. Have you started 3D printing or are you just thinking about getting into 3D printing? I would love to hear. Leave a comment below. 3D printing definitely comes with its own challenges, just like any other cosplay technique that you're going to learn. So it's not as easy as just loading up the model, walking away, and then it, your piece is done. You're going to have various issues such as leveling your bed, having adhesion issues so it's just not sticking to the bed or simply coming back and it's printing spaghetti because something has failed. Now then starts the very long process of prepping and priming your piece to remove those layer lines so that it actually looks like a real world item. 
There is definitely a learning curve with 3D printing, but trust me, it's worth it in the end. In terms of prep and priming, you're gonna need some supplies to help you knock down and smooth those layer lines and get it ready for paint. I normally hit it down with a palm sander first if it's a nice sort of smooth print with less detail. So that knocks down those initial layer lines and then I normally hit it with some automotive filler primer. Now this helps fill in some of those layer lines, but also lets you see where those layer lines are. Now you're going to need a lot and lot of sandpaper as the process is going to be filler primer, sanding, filler primer, sanding until you get those layer lines and it's nice and smooth. Sometimes you will have larger imperfections that are going to need filling. Now you could use something like Bondo, which I've seen others use, but I personally have stuck with wood filler as it's a less toxic option. Now the last thing you're going to need is super glue, lots of super glue to stick those parts together. For painting and finishing your prints, the easiest option is spray paint, which is mainly what I use, but you can also use an airbrush or acrylic paint. It just depends on the finisher that you're going for and how much you want to spend. A nice clear coat is also a good idea. As with anything in cosplay, safety is really important. Please use those respirators that are rated for toxic fumes for any of the spray paints or automotive filler primers, or even when you're doing your sanding, as you really don't want that dust in your lungs. Make sure you have some safety glasses when you're sanding or when you're removing any of those supports from your prints as they can flick off into your eyes. Some disposal gloves are also handy for getting paint not on your hands or if you're anything like me when you're using super glue so you don't stick your fingers together. Now you know the basics of 3D printing for cosplay, make sure you check out this video to go and grab those free files for your next cosplay.